What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I wanted to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening to the overall market thus far and talk about something very important for tomorrow as we have lots of big data coming out that's going to cause a very big move in the markets. But I have a very important warning about this data and how it's going to affect us. I want to share that right now. Before I break anything down, let me just say two things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 free stocks. This offer ends very soon tomorrow. Anyways, now let's break down what's happening to the markets. Looking at Tesla, we have this nice cup and handle-like formation. This did end up forming, forming, but we didn't really get much of a breakout quite yet. And the question is, will we get the breakout starting tomorrow? If it does end up breaking 205, that is going to be your confirmation. And expect a very big move to the upside if we break 205. It hasn't been able to do so thus far. I also want to mention that if it does break this in the future, I can see this thing going to 210 quite quickly or even 212 plus. Uh, but we have to wait and see for confirmation just to be safe. Now, when it comes to what's happening to the market, we have some very important data coming out for tomorrow that's going to cause a very big move. Tomorrow is Thursday, February 29th, and an hour before the market opens, we have the PCE data report coming out. Now, what is PCE? Well, first and foremost, it's very similar to CPI. It's going to be another important uh, measure of inflation that's widely used by the Fed. And what's important about this is year over year we're expecting 2.4 percent so a slight decline for all items and then we're also expecting for core to hit around 2.8 to 2.9 percent now there are a lot of people out there especially on like cnbc who are saying that it might be hot their analysts saying it's going to be hot it's going to you know not look too good so there are a lot of different views of this i don't want to kind of like influence your view i just want to say that we don't truly know because data like this is very manipulated and you never know what can happen but here's what i want to warn you about so if you're holding anything overnight, okay, whether it's, you know, options or anything like that, be very careful. Be very careful because not just because of the fact that the data comes out an hour before the market opens, not just because of that, but because of manipulation, okay? What do I mean by this? So if you're holding anything overnight, this data will come out before the market opens. So you may not have a chance to exit beforehand if you hold overnight. All right, depending on your brokerage and stuff like that, of course, but for the large majority of people, if you don't close your positions now before the market closes, right, you might be stuck. Now, I want to warn you about manipulation. So the way the market works is there are people watching us, essentially. They they look at data and they're tracking what's more, most advantageous to them. That's why you've seen a lot of days when the market squeezes insanely hard on like Fridays, on Thursdays. Because they're looking at the options chain, they know what retail are doing, they like to trigger stops and do things like that. There are also days where you may have noticed, <laughs> excuse me guys, I apologize. There, there may have been days where you noticed where the market drops really hard and then just bounces suddenly. Or days where the market pops and drops before open and it makes crazy moves like that. This is oftentimes when they try to trigger stops, they try to trigger certain levels. And it's all part of manipulation. So I do expect a lot of manipulation tomorrow. We'll see if the market kind of like gaps down and sinks. Does it gap down and bounce? There's going to be all sorts of tricks being used. So just be very careful, okay? And if you're holding anything overnight, we could also see a big gap tomorrow. So the market might gap down. Tesla might open at 198 and sink and then bounce. Or Tesla might open at 205 plus and just start to squeeze. Who knows what's going to happen, right? It's going to be pretty wild, okay? We're expecting uh, something like some ETFs like SPY to make three plus point moves. So a big move is coming and we'll have to see what the data causes. I'm going to give you guys one last warning. This is your last chance. If you want to exit any positions right now, you have the chance to do so. If you hold your position overnight, it could be risky because you never know what could happen. All right. So expect a very big move. What's happening with, uh, let me actually talk about Tesla a little bit more before I talk about SPY. Uh, I, I forgot to mention that we have a cup and handle like formation. For Tesla to remain bullish, we have to break 205, which we could do soon. It's still possible tomorrow or even by Friday. And then we're going to be pushing up to 207, 212, high levels like that. And then if we fail, if this is just a trap and so we get really bad data, Tesla has to lose 198 and continue to hold below that. If that's the case, a bigger drop is coming. And this could end up being a fail. So we'll just wait and see. I'm open-minded to anything and be prepared for PCE. For spy this thing's been declining a little bit but it's trying to base at 505 
Will we see a big bounce in a, an attempt to get back up to 508 to 510 and new all-time highs? Or is SPY about to start sinking back down to 503 and maybe bounce or do something like that? We'll wait and see. Right now, today, it's very indecisive. It's been going back and forth and back and forth between 505 and 506. So we'll just have to wait and see. We'll see what SPY does. Do we just continue to shuffle like this? And are we about to see a big move uh, in one of the directions? I believe the answer is yes, but we'll just have to wait and see. For the QQQ, it's very similar to SPY. This has just been going back and forth and back and forth, very sideways. If you actually look at this, we have this gap above. Are we about to see a big push to fill this gap? Or are we about to fill the gap below at 431? We're just indecisive right now. So we're waiting for the big data and we'll see what the data causes. So get ready for PCE. They're going to use this as an excuse to manipulate. So be prepared, be careful. NVIDIA is looking a little bearish from a technical standpoint. It's been kind of like selling off and respecting this uh, yellow resistance. So are we about to break this? Is NVIDIA about to break the resistance and start pushing back up and try to rebound, breaking past 790 to push higher? Or is NVIDIA about to reject right here and start making its way down towards 771? That we'll just have to wait and see. So we have to be very careful here. We'll see how this ends up going. And we'll just be very, very cautious of anything like that. So we'll see, guys. Uh, be prepared for a big move if you're holding anything overnight on NVIDIA. There could even be a big change in premium uh, values overnight, especially when you have big data like this. So just be very, very careful. Be prepared for this and expect a very big move. And the same thing with Apple. I mean, Apple was looking a little bit weak and attempted to get a big rebound. We were hoping it would make a higher high right here, a higher high than a higher low and try to break out. But so far, it's actually coming back down to where it was before. So it's showing some weakness. Now, the question is, is Apple going to break out again and start pushing back up to the yellow resistance way up here and start breaking out to 185? Or is, <coughs> excuse me, or is Apple about to reject and start dropping to 180 and start sinking all the way down to 178? That I'm not too sure about. You could argue there's a double bottom forming. It's going to start a slow uptrend, uh, just like how we had this uh, symmetrical structure right here. Or it might just reject. I mean, honestly, guys, I don't truly know what's going to happen. But I just want to warn you that if you're holding anything overnight, uh, it's not that different from a gamble in a way. Because no one truly knows. I mean, the stat is very manipulated. And even if we get a decent PCE, you never know what they're going to cause. So it's best to be open-minded. And I just want to give you guys the warnings. So this is your warning for now. The market closes in about 20 minutes. Take care, guys. Do what you have to do. And we'll see how things end up going. So for Tesla, we're showing some strength thanks to the big Roadster announcements. Tesla's still in a very good place. By the way, I just want to call that out. It's in a very, very good place. It's holding up quite nicely. So we will see. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you all. I'm not some kind of fortune teller. I don't know what the data is going to cause. I don't know what it's going to look like. So I find it best to just be very honest and to be patient and wait and see how it goes. Okay? So with that being said, thank you for listening. Have a great day. Tesla in the market to the moon because the long term is very bright. And peace out.